Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Noah from Techno Buffalo. I've got a Barnes & Noble Nook Color e-reader Android-based tablet. I've got an 8GB micro SD card, Class 6. And I've got a cup of espresso to drink while I'm waiting. In the background, you can't see, but I've got a computer with an internet connection. That's all I need to get a little SDK preview port style Android 3.0 honeycomb action going on on the Nook Reader. Let's do it. Alright, so in a nutshell, here's the story. Um, the Nook Color, which I actually think is a really cool device in and of itself for e-reading, uh, it's got a web browser, it's Android based, you can do some neat stuff with it, especially for the price and the size. Uh, some folks figured out, since it's Android based, you know, how to root it and how to put run Froyo off it and that kind of stuff. And when Google released the Honeycomb SDK, the Android 3.0 SDK kit, uh, a developer who goes by the handle Deeper Blue, uh, a gentleman named, where is his name, Raphael Brun right here. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. I uh, figured out how to how to port the SDK into a semi-working or mostly working build of Android 3.0 to run on Nook Central. Or on Nook Central, on Nook Color. I said Nook Central because the, the thread here is on uh, Android Central's forums. I saw it on Engadget, uh, kind of at the same time I saw it a couple days ago. John Rettinger hit me up with a text message mentioning it because he knew I have the Nook Color, and we decided to give it a go. Um... I, at first, tried to install this running off of a Class 4 micro SD card. Did not work, not fast enough, so I got a Class 6 card. Yesterday, I got it running. I was surprised, pleasantly surprised with how smoothly, uh, you know, it worked more smoothly than I was expecting. Uh, but now, there's an update, um, and if we go over here to the XDA Developers Forum, there's an update now, uh, the version 2 of the image that has some graphics improvements, it has sound, it has SD card storage, which is cool, and it can play some videos from the mobile YouTube site. Uh, so I'm going to download the disk image, and we're downloading it to 596 megabyte disk image, so that'll take a little while. Um, and then I'm going to install it. Uh, the directions are all over here. If we go back to... the thread on Android Central. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. They've got directions for Mac and PC users. I'm on a Mac, so I'll do it you know, on the Mac. It's basically just a matter of burning the disk image onto your micro SD card. And then what's really cool about this is that it doesn't, you don't have to root your, your Nook Color. It doesn't mess the Nook Color up at all because it boots off of the SD card. So you can pop the SD card in and mess around with the 3.0 build, and then you can take it out and go back to using your Nook Color um, you know, as you're used to doing it. So I'm going to hit the uh, I'm going to hit the button on the camera, turn it off, wait for the download to finish, enjoy some coffee, and we'll be right back. All right. So literally, like an hour later, uh, the file is downloaded. It took a long time to download today. Uh, it's a disk image. Got it right here. Nook Honey 02, 4.29 gigabyte disk image. Uh, it was a zip file, about a 600 meg zip file that unpacked into a four plus gigabyte disk image. And so now basically you just have to burn it onto the SD card. Uh, so here's the thread back on androidcentral.com. So it's got instructions for PC users and Mac users. I'm a Mac user. So uh, I'll go to terminal. And here's terminal. So first step is to identify the card. Uh, so we use the disk util command. Oops, sorry, the disk util list command. And so here it is, the uh, FAT32 formatted 8 gigabyte SD card on disk 2. So now we're going to go disk util unmount disk. And it's unmounted. And now we are going to burn the image onto the SG drive. So you just need to make sure, I'm not, you know, I'm not a Unix user really, but you just have to make sure you understand uh, in following these directions, doing this at your own risk if you do it, but follow these directions um, and make sure that uh, you know where, you know, you've got the right disk, you're unmounted, the right disk you're burning to, whoops, and um, 
also uh, you know the location, you know the right path to the file. So for me, I made sure that the file nookhoney02.image is in my root folder, my home folder on the Mac, uh, and that, which is you know basically just the same folder that I'm pointing out right now, or directory I should say. I'm using Mac Talk folder, same directory that I'm pointing out now, which is the NK directory, which is my home directory for this account, and then that I'm burning to the right disk, disk two, and that's it. Hit return, go, and now this process will take a long time to burn the file, to burn the uh, image file to the SD card. So we'll be back.